was in town here and uh, it was probably too long for me. Uh, we want to keep going, but um, had a good practice here today and, and ready to go tomorrow. Team looking at different after the time off? Do they look different? Yeah. Uh, you know, you never know how you're going to be the first game. Um, you know, but it's the same for both teams. Any changes in mind to try to jumpstart the offense a little bit? Um, you know, not really. We're right down to our bare numbers here with Rasmus and up. So um, we've had different combinations all year. Um, I mean, we our last two games have been two shutout games. Uh, one nothing, three nothing. So we'll take those all the time if we can, um, and we'll just keep chipping away at the offense. Is defense? A, I haven't really looked at the stats around the league, but is this kind of a defensive year in the league, or is it just us playing phenomenal defense? Uh, you no, know, I mean there's some teams that have uh, some goals for are, are up there. I, I mean I still think we're in the top five or six in the Western Conference in goals for, even though we've tailed off here the last 15 to 20 games, but. Um, you know, it's an ongoing process here, and uh, if we're not scoring as many goals, we just have to defend uh, as good or better than we have in the past. Got some big division games coming up, starting with Chicago back to back. Uh, how important is this little stretch here? Yeah, I mean, the for to get to get off to a good start here after any type of break, whether it's Christmas break or All Star break, is important. Um, you know, it's mostly a mental mindset that we have to have going into the games here, and. I mean, you look at the Hawks uh, LA game last night, very intense. Uh, they were playing for keeps, and a lot of those guys hadn't been on the ice in three or four days themselves. So we have to have the same mentality. Layton said that a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, you guys made a couple of changes to the defense that sort of sparked a couple of these shutouts. What were some of those changes that you made? Well, we don't want to give away too many secrets, but it's just basically um, you know protecting the middle of the ice a little more and giving up the outside shot to the goalies. Um, being less aggressive with our defensemen and, and a little more passive and conservative. Labrie has three goals, I think, in his last five games. Nice shorthanded goal. Just comment on what he's been giving the team of late. Yeah, I thought he's played really well the last uh, three, four games. Energy, uh, you know, he's into it on the bench. He's an emotional leader for us. And he's, you know, skating real well, getting a lot of loose pucks in the offensive zone from his forecheck. And uh, he's, he's been great on the kill as well. American League? Yeah. Uh, I, I, got, I saw the skills competition. I, I didn't see the game at all, but uh, saw that our, our guys did well and uh, represented us uh, real nice. Ted, can I get a Super Bowl prediction from you? Super Bowl. You know what? I listened on the radio coming in here this morning, and, and everyone's torn and can't make a decision. It's going to be a real close game. Obviously, um, I got to go with Tom Brady and uh, New England.